What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all are having a good one. Here we are. Um, not anywhere close to being finished yet, but I got the body mounted, or at least the main portion of the body mounted up and uh, decided to go ahead and put power to this thing for the first time. So this is the wrecker project that i've been working on for a good little while now and uh we're coming down to the wire i'm really trying to get this thing completed for beat the creek i apologize for the wind uh, it's a wee bit on the windy side today i do not have an external microphone so hopefully the crackling isn't too bad but anyways just wanted to kind of walk through the basics of uh, what i got going on here and uh, then i gotta get back up to the garage and get back to wrenching on this thing because like i said i still got a long ways to go but anyways chassis is a scx 10-3 uh, base camp straight axle builders kit um, got this put together just for this build um, I did I think the only thing actually chassis wise that I swapped out was I got rid of the lower links and put in a set of the uh, trailing arms I think that I think that those came off of the bomber um, and then adjusted my upper links accordingly but I just felt like uh, metal trailing arms kind of suited the look a little bit better kind of made it look a little bit beefier up underneath of here um, still got the stock shocks that came with the builders kit and the whole nine um, got a lot of Enjora parts on here the front bumper um, I believe even the, the little brake rotor wheel weights I think are also Enjora brand uh, a few other pieces I've got uh, these are the Red Cat uh, IROC Super Swamper I think is what they're actually called uh, tires that four of them came on the gen 8 uh, that i had gotten a few years back and then i got uh, another set with a gatekeeper on trade so since this isn't a quote unquote rock crawler i uh, figure they'll do just fine on here um i've got some 3d printed inserts on the front and the outer duels and then on the inner duels I think it's just some open cell the stock foam that came on those tires uh, the dually adapters are from Jim Menino um, dual wheel adapters is his group website the whole nine um, awesome product I've got that on my 6x6 six six as well the cab is uh, FJ40 cab only. I don't remember what brand it is. There's like six different off brands that sell this on eBay and Amazon and whatnot. The bed, minus the roll bar, I built myself. Um, I've got some steel and some aluminum on here. The bed sides and the front bed side, I guess you could call it, are uh, steel. The fenders and the main portion of the bed bottom itself is aluminum diamond plate. And then the rest of the bed frame is uh, aluminum angle of various sizes. The colors that I went with uh, had some sort of a 
flake, heavy flake, sparkly black color. Um, that same fiery orange that I've been using on the last couple rigs. And then the color changing portion, which I don't know how well it comes through on camera. It's not as uh, well pronounced on the orange as it is on the roll bar. But it, actually the same top coat on the body and the roll bar. So you can definitely see the, the green coming through there. But it's a green copper uh, color shift something or other. Uh, I've got a couple of cheap winches. Got an extra long winch line in the back. Um, still working on the boom. So that one's going to take a little bit longer but got the winch in there and I've got an eight foot winch line so should uh, should have that under control got another cheap winch on the front uh, I still need to unspool that get that cable off of there and I've got a another reefs I think six or seven foot uh, synthetic winch line I'm going to put on the front of this thing as well. I've also got, uh, comes yellow and white, but I got a, a yellow strobe light bar that's going to go on top of the roll bar there. And then, uh, got various, um, LED cube lights and a uh, little bit bigger light bars. So she should be pretty well lit up. Um, let me get the lid off of this thing and we'll go over the electronics. So never mind the wiring right now. Um, I've still got to get a receiver box and then do a bunch of uh, wire management. It'll be nice and clean when I get done with it. Um, but I didn't want to mess with any of that until I got all the lights and everything mounted and I can do it all at once with the little mesh split loom that I got. But I'm running it on the GT5 just like I've got all my other rigs. Um, got a Hobby Wing Fusion SE 1800 KV, a Three Brothers G13 Pro Servo. It'll be on 3S. Uh, the aluminum angle that you see here, um, those are my body mounts for the show. Uh, I thought about doing magnets, but that never works well. Even though I don't plan on rolling this thing over a whole lot, we all know it's bound to happen eventually. And uh, Velcro seems to hold on a little bit better than magnets. So those are literally just my body mounts. Uh, they're pretty huge looking in there, but they don't weigh a whole lot. And weight's not really an issue with this thing anyways, because it's a tow truck. It's going to be heavy, and heavy it is. Um, even right now, without everything being on it, it, it's still comparable in weight to my 6x6 already, and I've still got a good bit more to put on here. So... Yeah, uh, I think that's about it for now. I just wanted to give a brief overview since I haven't uh, had this thing powered up yet. Uh, I've also got a receiver on the back of it in case I need to pull a trailer as well. So, it's the little things, you know. But anyways, um, yeah get this thing dirty for the first time uh, run it around the pit here a little bit kind of a shakedown run everything should be put together well um, so I shouldn't have any issues that I can foresee at the moment so take her for a quick little first test run here maybe see if we can find a mushroom or two and then uh, I head back up to the garage and get back on working on this thing. We're down to less than a week now, and I've 
I've still got an awful lot to do to finish this thing up. But just getting to this point was kind of a milestone. Uh, worst case scenario, even if I don't get the boom and everything else done in time, I can still take this down to beat the creek with me. Um, but I'm shooting to have this thing fully functional. So see what happens. Get the body back on, get this thing fired back up, and see what we can get into.